welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany if you've never tuned in to me before and hello to all of my beautiful people who um, kind of watch me regularly. It's so nice to see you here. Today I'm super super excited. Um, by far the most requested video I've gotten is what do you do for your face? What do you put on your face? How do you stay hydrated? Um, what does your morning look like? So I'm answering all those today. So if you want um, kind of my insider tips, I have a lot of practices that I've been doing for literal decades now. And also the biggest practice that keeps me looking happy, healthy, and just radiant all the time, glowing as a lot of you say. And it might be really different than what you think. So if this sounds interesting to you at all, please keep watching. must moisturize and take care of your skin so I've had a pretty good regimen and I have a lot of not that many but I have some favorite products that I want to share with you guys today and I kind of just wanted to show you about what happens in my world whenever I wake up every day so without further ado let's get to it no okay love you First things first, wash my face. Let's hop right in. So every single morning I start the day by washing my face with as cold of water as my faucet will let out. Get rid of any sleepy puffiness from the night. Step two is exfoliate, and I don't exfoliate every single day, probably about once a week, and I'll increase it if need be, like if I start seeing more whiteheads or blackheads, and I'll usually go over that first exfoliation with a second gentle exfoliate. This one I'm using is by Olay. It's this little contraption that gently exfoliates and is has like a little motor that spins the brush over the face. And I really just love it. It leaves my face so soft. Step four is hydration. I've been using this natural product from a local small business called Bonham Vite. Andrea over there always takes care of me. She has so many different serums for different skin types. And this one I've been using the anti-aging, but I also have used an entire bottle of the normal serum as well. Both of them are amazing and smell like freaking heaven. Step five is moisturizing. I got this Josie Marin face butter in one of my Sephora gift packs, but I just ran out of the sample size and I will be getting the full size for sure. It leaves my face feeling like smooth, buttery silk and doesn't leave my face greasy or oily. I use this one during the daytime and then I have a special nighttime moisture that I just use at night. Step six, protect. So I use this Lux Flower and Gem Essence, which is infused with black tourmaline, white yarrow flower, and ocotillo flower. Five drops in my water every single morning, and what it's good for is creating my boundaries, psychic protection, and telepathy. So this is a really great product that I use in my spiritual practice. Drink it down, and that's another thing. I always drink so much water, like usually one big glass to start the day. <laughs> And then I do my regular morning routine. So I just started using this Dr. Bronner toothpaste. I've tried the cinnamon and peppermint flavor and I really love them both. I had been searching for a long time to find a natural base fluoride free toothpaste and I found it here. So I just really love like the clean, minimal, like no suds toothpaste. And then I've been using this activated charcoal powder for a few months now as a whitener. And the texture of it takes a little bit of getting used to, but um, I really, really like it. And I've definitely noticed a difference in my teeth. So I definitely recommend this uh, <laughs> beautifying product. It's kind of scary to talk to people whenever your mouth is black, but. It does the job, so I'm satisfied. Make sure not to get it on your clothes. <laughs> 
step nine, crystallize, and currently I am working the most with my angel aura quartz, opening up these different realms and uh, connecting with my spirit guides and angels, which I've talked to you guys about before. Step 10 is my herbal energy pills. I'm not really one for caffeine. I have been taking these pills for about two years now, just about every day. Um, it gives me really clean, focused, clear line energy and um, yeah, I just really love them. I don't build up a tolerance to them. And if I want to have a lazy day where I don't have much to do, obviously I just don't take one. But um, yeah, step 11, self expressalize So I really love expressing myself through my earrings. This little stud is aqua aura. And the other side is this merkaba. And what this symbol represents is the idea of as above, so below. Equal balance and knowing that any darkness needs light. Step 12, Gemini's. I know a lot of you guys are curious about why I wear my contacts and I've talked about it before in my videos. Um, so I refer to my blue-eyed self as my Gemini twin. And I think that she is super spicy and able to communicate herself with clarity and confidence and grace. And these are like my superpowers. This is like whenever I transform into my Gemini twin. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Most of you know that eight months ago I went vegan. So I've recently been transitioning a lot of my older makeup to vegan friendly cruelty free products and I am using one of those products in today's video so I just started using this Boxum mascara and I'll leave the link in the description box down below if you're also interested in transitioning to a natural cruelty free product and just having a few swipes of mascara is really all that I want or need to feel like I'm looking my best. Nothing fancy with the leftover mascara that kind of gets all over the eyes and around the eyes. I just take a cotton swab, either put it in my mouth or put some water on it and just wipe the excess mascara off. And really, that is pretty much the extent of my makeup routine recently. <laughs> Not fancy, but what can I say? <laughs> Come with me outside, I wanna talk. Hey, all you beautiful people. So I wanted to, on the tail end of this whole skincare morning routine regimen, I wanted to just share so much more of what my look, the way that I achieve it, more so than um, the natural products that I put on my skin and keeping your skin super duper hydrated, but more so than my skincare regimen, the way that I look has so much more to do with what my day-to-day -day life looks like. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I can say that I look the way that I look and I look so much happier and healthier than I have in years past because I'm happier and healthier than I ever have been in years past. <laughs> uh, I think that a lot of times we look to outside resources to tell us the things to be interested in or things to think that are cool or the things that we should be wearing or should be using or just all of these outside influences and honestly the way that I radiate now and really appreciate all of the response and comments that I get on my face and you know all of these aspects of myself that I didn't necessarily choose but it's wonderful to receive compliments um, but it really has so much more to do with the fact that I decided to start living a life I decided to start making conscious choices in my life and through those conscious and liberating choices that I'm now making it just gives me so much inner fire and passion and love and drive and freedom and i believe that whenever any person any person in the world it doesn't matter what you look like when any per is feeling happy and healthy and radiating on the inside that beauty emanates outward and it is seen by all people that they come across does that make sense like it's so cool because now that I'm living in this space and I come across so many people whether it's at the grocery store or my modeling jobs or just you know jumping around from yoga studios the responses that I hear from people about the way that I look and the way that I conduct myself and how happy I seem is literally just like do 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 like I'm not trying to be a certain way it's just because of 
the way that I've chosen to live now and I'm so thankful every single day that's part of my gratitude practice that I decided to awaken, that I decided to wake up in my own life and that I didn't just continue on that hamster wheel that everyone you know, thinks that they have to keep themselves on and I said, oh no, this is my life. This is my one life to live. I wanna to connect to myself. I want to develop practices that keep me feeling balanced and strong and happy and healthy in my life. Keep myself communicating with my friends and family so that I'm lit actively portraying who it is that I am and the experiences that I'm coming across. And um, through that self-expression and through that creativity using platforms like this here on YouTube, being able to communicate to you guys, sharing my heart and soul on Instagram, and these ways, these facets that I've totally uh, been taking to, to express myself in different ways, it just fuels me, it feeds me, it feeds my heart, feeds my soul, my spirit on the inside, and I do believe that um, not only for myself, although I'm so happy to see it in myself too, people find themselves gravitating toward that energy because who doesn't want to be around someone who's happy and healthy and doesn't live a life complaining and judging and, you know, having negativity and, you know, rigidity thinking and stuff all the time. It's like, wouldn't you much rather be around someone who just like makes the best of all their circumstances and is always happy? That's who I like to surround myself with. But anyway, I really just wanted to get on here now at the end of my morning routine video that's been so requested. And if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my videos, make sure to do that so that you don't miss any of my upcoming stuff. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope that you found this um, illuminating to what it is that I do to keep myself happy, healthy, well hydrated, and freaking psyched on life because <laughs> everyone deserves that. Love you so much. See you in my next video. Namaste. Mm, Satnam.